us on this busy afternoon as we talk about what's going on in the world of sports. Busy program. Uh, a little later on, Tiger. We'll do a little potpourri today at 4 o'clock. Give you a chance there. Here's Hayden in Virginia, Mad Dog Unleashed. Hayden, good afternoon. It's your turn. How are you today, pal? Well, well, dog, it's amazing. Over the weekend, somehow Villanova became an all of a sudden juggernaut that I didn't realize was playing all all season long. And, and this idea, by the way, that they've reinvented the sport with the three pointers, which I've been hearing from Pete Dammel and many others in the media types over the no, weekend. No, it's stupid. It's not- That's ridiculous. They haven't reinvented anything, but they do have. You know what they have, Hayden? Every position on the court, they can score. They all shoot. They all shoot. That's, you know, but dog, I was going to say it's as comical as you when you, when you have Coach K on not asking him how he didn't know the Bagley family went from bankruptcy to living in a gated community with him while getting recruited by Duke. But you know, it, that's just part of the sport. Now, is you all over? Coach K is not on today. I don't have to worry about it. But I did see your text, so go ahead. You may continue. But but that's why I'm happy with these two teams being in the finals tonight. These are two teams that do it the right way. These are two great coaches, and the idea that Michigan can't win this game is, I think, absolutely comical. I saw. I've been going to. Games in, college, games in College Park for 20-plus years. Only team I've ever seen up 30 points at halftime was this Michigan team about five weeks ago. It was one of the most impressive performances I've ever seen in person. Then they followed it up by going to Manhattan and beating teams that they weren't supposed to beat. They beat Michigan State a second time. They beat a healthy Purdue team. Dog, this team can beat anybody. So if, they, if and they, they shoot the no, I mean, listen, else. I mean, you know, they're a competitive team, but they're not as good as Kansas, and they're not as good as West Virginia, I don't think. And you know, Hall, you don't think mm, Michigan would beat Kansas tonight? I don't think they would. No, I think Kansas. I think is you're better. watching the wrong sport all year. Hall. Well, hold on. Who did Michigan? First off. The, who did Michigan beat in the tournament that I'm supposed to be in love with? What team? Well, Houston was a very good team. So if, you, if you're not, and they should have lost, and they should have lost, they were lucky to win the game. Who else? And that Texas A&M team blew out North. Carolina. I know, but they, but we explained the A&M game. We weren't listening. They A&M played college kids. It's hard. They played a they Sunday night in Charlotte what? and a Thursday afternoon in L.A. And they live in Texas A&M. A college kid is not the NBA. These kids can't do that kind of stuff. It's a very tough transition. Very hard. Next, go ahead. Listen, listen, Michigan can only beat who they play. I, I, I grant you that. Oh, we understand that. But, well, it's but, not their but, fault. But, 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 let, but don't make Michigan out to be some great team when, let's face it, they did not win the Big Ten uh, regular season, and Michigan State did. Uh, Purdue did. Purdue did not play well. Now, they lost a big player. But Purdue lost Purdue to Texas. Michigan State were two of the five best teams. And, who, and, how, did Michigan St- and how did Michigan State play against Syracuse? Dog, they couldn't play. They were poorly coached, weren't prepared for the zone. But for anyone to be shocked tomorrow, if Michigan wins this game, you're an absolute fool. Is it a 70 30 Villanova favorite? Absolutely. But uh, that, that's being a very fair to Villanova. I would be, I know, uh, Hayden, I'm going to be right on the record. Uh, I will be, I say it, I'll be shocked, shocked if Villanova loses the game. Shocked, shocked. How's that? They are much better than. Uh, than Michigan. They're a much better team. Now, again, one game, we all know one game, all right? Stranger things have occurred. We understand that. But I think Villanova will have, they have too many ways they can hurt you. And, you know, Michigan has, you know, even Michigan the other night wasn't that great against Loyola. They scored 21 points in the first half. Even in that game, they weren't phenomenal by any stretch in that against, against uh, uh, LIC. I mean, I wasn't in love with what they did there. I mean, they, they, you know, in the second half, they picked it up. They did what they had to do, but they, that, that wasn't a great performance. They were not great against Florida State. I mean, where is Michigan outside of the A&M game when they play great? Where have they blown your way in this tournament? Go ahead. Villanova's blown your way a lot in this tournament. They blew your way. They were phenomenal against Kansas. They had a great comeback down by six against West Virginia when they scored 90 points. I mean, Villanova killed Alabama. I mean, Villanova's done a nice job. They have, they've done a phenomenal job in this tournament. I, I again, I would be, I'd be shocked if Michigan won this game. Mike in Chicago, and he's the board. He's on Mad Dog Unleashed. Michael, welcome. How are you today, pal? What do you have? Doggy, we're actually in Augusta, and I'm telling you right now, I got a developing situation. Tiger walked off today. Uh, he hit a tee shot on the par three six tee box, and he uh, he grimaced. I am dead serious. Uh, Monday practice round, he grimaced, and then he hit a tee shot on seven, and then wa- walked off into the trailer. Um, I, I swear to God, I'm outside Gate Nine right now. Why haven't hey, we? Why haven't we heard this? I did not see I, a report on this all day. How come now? All 20, of a sudden, you bouncing around? Uh, you know. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Twenty five minutes ago. Twenty five. I just walked outside the gate. You can't bring your cell phone in there. 
I, 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 there was not a, a bit of this media in there. They got a press room. Dave, Nobody Dave, mentioned it Damon yet. Hack, Damon Hack from the Golf Channel was standing right beside us. So call him. He used to work for the New York Times. Uh, I, I, we all know who Damon Hack is. So in other words, well, Dan, we have to be a little concerned about Tiger. Was it his back? Played. Was it his back? Or is it another part of his body? Low, low, lower, lower back. He walked off and he played a practice round on Easter Sunday. We got in there for the, uh, they had the kids. They do that drive, chip, and putt thing. We went in there for the kids. And we bought all our merchandise because you don't have the crowds. And Tiger played a practice round yesterday. He was fine. I'm telling you, he hit a tee shot on the par uh, six hole. Oh, uh, we're Hello? keeping on Mike. We're keeping an eye on it. I, I, nothing I can say. Damon Hack hasn't written anything about it yet. You obviously say something. I'm not saying you're wrong. Five let's wait till we get. Well, let's wait till we get an official report before we start playing doctor. You may that, continue. That's fine. Now let me talk to you about. I'm. I. I, I'm, I talk about confusion. A Michigan underground Loyola. Uh, Loyola Night School, I was torn Saturday. Porter Moser totally choked in that game in the second half. Beeline schooled him. Michigan keeps it tight. But where does po- where does Porter Moser go now? Xavier, where does he go? Come on, that's a hell of a run. It's a good question. Uh, you know, Xavier, I heard they were going to hire their assistant after Mac went to Louisville. Uh, Moser would be a guy that, you know, had a good run in this tournament. Like to see him stay? I can't answer that. And... I know I'm, I'm not going to say, I'll say this delicately. Uh, we have to be honest. Did we get a little tired here the last couple of days of uh, the nun, Sister Jean? I mean, if you saw her press conference on Friday, if you saw her press conference, it was mobbed with media. And at the same time, basically across the hallway, there was two people in there to see the Loyola shooting guard talk. Did that sit you wrong? 10 in front of the arrow, we continue. Mad Dog Unleashed. This is the Evening 